I'm Mr. Recon here from the Girls X Battle 2 for Paris. Today we're doing an account overlook video on Nahan's account. I know I'm saying it wrong on there, but on the email they told me to call themselves Nahan. So I'm going to do that. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. But if you're new to the channel, subscribe your support's really appreciated. Don't forget to smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. Leave a comment down below and show Nahan some love for sharing this wonderful account with us. It is a VIP account. We have not had one of these in a while. We mostly have some light spenders and free-to-plays which some of them have been amazing, I must say that, on how well they're doing on their accounts. So we'll see how well this, we'll call him Miniature Whale, because he's not up to, to the whale territory yet, but Miniature Whale here, how he's doing, all right? Let's pull up the questions. Uh, Nahan is on server 524. Um, Nahan would like to say, Vietnamese, Vietnamese player on server 524. My account is currently top one on the server. However, I'm not satisfied with it yet. What improvements can I do to uh, regarding PvE and PvP? Is there any girl or antique I should aim at? Here's the login information for quick login. Got it. Not reading you that information though. Hey, almost got me right. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Um. Uh. PvE wise, it goes. You have. This is the easiest way to, to, to talk about this. You have an Angelica. You have two Angelicas actually. That's pretty much going to be your PvE stuff. Um. I don't know why you're just being great. They don't know why you're using speed of crit. Interesting. Crit crit damage actually pretty good for PvE stuff. PvP wise, probably gonna want to use speed HP because a little bit of HP matters. I don't know how to explain it to you, essentially. But I know why you were using speed crit to get better crit chance out of your Angelicas. I can see that. So if that works for you, do it. I personally run speed HP, but to each his own. If it works for you, do it. Can't say much. As far as um, for PvE, Wings of Icarus is going to be the best thing. You have one already, right? So you use that on uh, both Angelicas if you get it. So it becomes a matter of do you want to focus more on PvE damage or PvP? I'm assuming you're going to do both because you are spending money on the game. So, But the reason I say that is because if you focus on PvE first and then go into your PvP, because right now... Uh, you're only going to be really competing in PvP in your server, right? And if you're already dominating, you might as well start getting to domination of your PvE stuff to try and help out in different aspects of getting rewards in there. Because there's more PvE modes to get more rewards in those than there is just PvP. Because probably all we have is what JV, RC, Elite League, and Ultimate League. And Ultimate League doesn't really give that many rewards. It does, but it doesn't. Ultimate League, I'm sorry, Elite League gives you enrolls, which is great to do. And then uh, varsity Junior Varsity give you uh, those Varsity coins to whatever they're called, those coins for the shop, you know what I mean? Those coins they gave you? I forgot the name. Um, those help you get enrolls from the uh, the shop. So, if you're already top one in that, you're, you're, the, only, the only other thing to do is ultimately for you. So, you're kind of a long ways away from, I mean, you could maybe take top 64 if you really tried. Doubt that you're going to make it to the finals. That's weird. There's just like a lot of big whales out there that have already established, been playing for a while. It's kind of hard. You have to spend a lot more money. But, you know, each his own. If you want to do that, go ahead. So I would focus more on PvE a little bit. Get yourself another Wings of Icarus. Um, uh, fake Crystals on that is really good. Depends on the mode. Like uh, pink Fake Crystals. Like for Sky Island, they work amazing. That's what they're usually used for. Other modes, you just need a normal Fake Crystal. Uh, Carnival Staffs for. Sanctuary actually are actually really important. You can just use a one-star version of it. Is it just immune to stun if you want? You can do that. I run one of those on one of my Sibneys because I can't have can't afford to upgrade it. So that's what I do. Um, and then Thorn's Heart, you put it to pink three for Diana on that. Uh, as far as practical works go, you can use your Wings of Icarus on your Angelicas. That's the way to do that. Um, you can just use normal Fake Crystals on your Sibneys. Essentially, you're only really using pink threes. Fake crystals for PvE stuff kind of is mostly just on Sanctuary now. And PvP. And for PvP as well. So that they're still really, really useful and good. Um, practical works, you just need to Frexy. I see one right there. I don't know what you upgraded it to. Let's check. Uh, nine star. That's fine. You can leave your Frexy at nine star. If she has trouble dying, you can upgrade her ten star and leave her there if you want. As far as that goes. Let's see. You have your Linky ten star. That's great. That's fine there. 
Um, you don't really need the Mika. Uh, ten star. You can probably feed her away. You you already have established stuff. You have a Mia, so you could probably go through Demon House exams pretty easy because she's very good at it. Plus, Mia can beat Patrol very easily. So I your Patrol's up, but I don't want to click on it because I don't know what setup you want to try to do because I don't know if you finished or not. I'm assuming you do because you have Mia, the new Demon Girl. She's amazing at Patrol. So um, you should be finished with that for sure. But um seem pretty good. Sydney, where's your Sydney? Right there. Yeah, so we would need another Sydney of Viera for like Neuriel to do high sanctuary damage if we're trying to do that. As far as practical orcs goes, you have the two Angies, you have the Linky, you have the Frexy, you have a Cassie and a Sydney. You'd be fine on that. You could get past those easily. Uh what else we got? And this shenanigan stuff. We're gonna talk about that. Test. It'll get easier as you get more girls. Um, I would recommend uh, not test, not this. You've already finished that test. I mean, old campus exploration. OC. Um, I'll make sure you do this. Uh, I think there's a guide in Sal's chart on which things to use. I know Rembo did a lot of testing on this. Shout out to Rembo as always. Um, on what girls are good for what, essentially. So if you might want to check that out. No, I just kind of smashed through that, I'm not going to lie. So, I can't really help people with that. Um, but there's plenty of people that know how to do that. Echoes of Time, you can also do that. And Echoes of Time boss fights, because you are doing high, you're trying to do PV damage, high stuff, because you're spending money. Um, in here, you when we do these stages, right, um, you don't need Phyrexy. You can just do like, double Sydney, a Cassie, a Linky, and double Angie. My deal's itches, I'm sorry guys. Um, do that there, right? With the, with pink, uh, pink three wings of Icarus. I think I got today. I got sixty seven billion on it. I don't know who got the highest on it. Probably Fipra because he messes around with a lot. I just smashing, you know, just button smash on mine. But uh, those three: Cassie, Linky, Sydney, Sydney, and two Angie's probably going to be the better thing to do uh, to try and get as much damage as possible on these stages. So do that. Don't need Phyrexy on, on this thing. Security Squad, I'm sure you're doing great. You're at 26. You're probably helping out some people. Or you are in a new server, so it might take a while. If you're watching the videos I do for Security Squad on that, those are the girls you can use. I'm assuming you'll have some of them to use. You need a Pate, it's an Ami, uh, stuff like that to keep your girls alive. And then work together on your team to finish it, essentially. Um, I don't know what else there is. We're talking about most of it. Actually, you really only need your antiques. Well, let's see here. Are you having a chisel problem too, like me? Yeah, you do. I know it sucks. Chisel problems, right? Um, what to build next? You could build another seventy to help out PVE. Um, You could build another Monica if you're trying to, you already have another Monica, yeah. So like, you want three Monicas for Varsity, if you really wanted to be mean to everybody, you could do that. Um, Mia's and Gwyneth Bridges are gonna be great for PvP, get those. You only need two Angies really for PvE, what you got. Uh, you have Testar, you mean, you just need like an Apate, another Sibney. Um, you can have the Apate like 10 star to help you with that, because she revives. Sydney, you have her, extra LB5 of her, uh, and just focus on the new girls mostly. Like, what you, you only need one, besides the damage dealers in, in Sydney, you only need really one of the girl for PvE stuff, and then everything else, you need multiple copies of a girl, like Monica, or Geisha, going to Bridget, Mia, um, Izanami, you, you need multiples of those for PvP, or Sky right now, stuff like that, so be aware of that. As far as like all the other antiques to put on girls, just look at the tier list for PvP stuff. PvE wise, it's pretty easy. Um, if you have questions on those, you can just look at Sal has charts on it, but you can ask in Discord. Usually just use fake crystals on certain girls or carnival stats for certain things. The only big thing you really need for PvE is pink three wings of Icarus and you just need two of them for your double Angies. Those are your best way to go. So just do that. As far as PvP goes, what well, that's gonna be a lot more investing into. You're gonna need multiple copies of things. That makes sense. Hopefully, this answers your questions in the hand. Um, kind of a little bit all over the face. 
but uh, it's not bad. You're looking pretty good for server 524. Not been out that long. You're doing really well. Um, I'd focus more, finish your PvE first. That's going to be the easiest route. I should mostly tell everybody that. And then go PvP. I went PvP first. I made that mistake. That's why I tell people not to do it. And my PvE suffered for a long time. So I wish I had went PvE first. But just remember that. PvE first, and then you do your PvP. Especially nowadays when more players are playing longer and they're more... What's the word? They develop, but... They're more further along than, than newer players. So just stay with PvE first, get that done, then jump into PvP. You find it a lot more enjoyable doing it that way than trying to compete with big heads. Unless you're just doing your, your server alone, then that's fine. It's not a big deal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you today. Stay safe out there. It's Crazy World. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.